What is up everybody, how you doing today? Welcome back to Yukon Valley and the Hunter Call of the Wild. And it is night right now, I'm sure many of you know what that means. That means it's time for Red Fox. Um, today we're not going to be really going for a hunt, but I will be kind of going over some of the best locations and times to find Red Fox. So basically, this is a Red Fox guide. If you're trying to find a red fox, diamond, or rare for that matter, this is what you need to pay attention to, okay? Um, as many of you all know, I got very lucky in finding a red fox in the third server I ever checked for one. Second or third, I don't even remember at this point. And then I decided it'd be a great idea to mess it up. So yeah, I now have a messed up red fox um so you can add that on my resume but they are not easy little buggers to hit so i don't know but i figured i would make a guide to help you all out in hopefully finding your own diamond red fox so starting off with some locations because location is key especially with the red fox um because Oftentimes, you will run into lakes where it is just females. Okay, this seems to be the case with most of the predators in the game as of right now. Oftentimes, many places are just females. So, as you can see, we do have one male fox here on this map. Um, this is my own map, but I see a fairly nice female right there. So we're going to take her out. Um, but like I said, location is key. Because sometimes you could like just spend your entire night hunting red fox that are just females. And like I just demonstrated there, these guys are super easy to mess up. So yeah, I think she's a little bit further and I'm not holding over enough. But like I said, they're tiny and hard to hit. But like I said as well, location is key. So if you want to find male red fox, if you want to be consistent in finding male red fox, you need to go to a certain few lakes. Uh, these four lakes right here, very, very good. Um, I need to get into a habit of checking them. I don't check them enough. I need to. Um, they are very good. And actually, if this guy is not going to flee... I'm going to shoot him, see if I can actually make the shot on one, if he still decides to be there. Um, what are you? You're a female, but I, don't, I think the male fled, maybe? I'm not sure. But like I said, these four lakes right in this area are very good for Red Fox. Um, this lake right here, Wolfhead Lake, is another one that's decent. Um, it's not amazing. But you will find some males there every now and then. Um, this lake right here is where I messed up my diamond. Right there. Um, that is another... It's an okay lake. It's definitely not one of the best. Um, th I probably think these four and some other lakes are better. But um, it is not bad. Uh, there tends to be a few there. Usually one or two males right here. Sometimes a male here. I've never really hunted these lakes as much. I know that males can be there, though. Uh, go ahead and pick this up. Unfortunately, not quite a gold, or what would have been a gold, but I messed it up just a little too low. 243 drop. This lake right here is okay. It tends to have a few male red fox, especially up in these fingers up here. And then the best two lakes, in my opinion, are these two right here and this one can be okay usually one maybe two male red fox but i've been over here and seen like seven male red fox this is definitely the lake you want to go okay and those are really the areas i recommend checking for red fox um the river is just too big there are some fox on it um but it's just really hard to see them all um the marsh just doesn't have a ton of them these lakes are generally all females for the most part. Sometimes not always, but for the most part, yes. This lake, I think, does have some male red fox, but I think you're easy. You're um, going to spook them a lot more. You won't be able to see them, so you'll have to check tracks if you want to go to that lake. 
Um, but yeah, so that is all I've got for locations. And then we'll go over some zone times as we fast travel to this lake down here. So for Red Fox on Yukon Valley, they feed from midnight to 3, and then again from 3 to 7. Then rest from 7 to 11, 11 to 3, and 3 to 7. Okay, so fox are not very active during the day. And Actually, that was probably, yeah, one right there. Level 5 female. Um, fox are not very active during the day, as in real life. Um, they drink, though, from 7 to 2300, so 11. 7 to 11 got a four hour window to hunt red fox so it should give you more than enough time to check most all of these lakes in one drink time period okay but see at this lake right here it really only seems to be that one female so in that case we'll just go somewhere else but yeah so those are kind of where you can find red fox and when now um, I meant to show y'all on that last one, but I'll show you on this one. I'll go ahead and shoot it with the M1 just so we don't have to bother tracking it. Actually, we're going to have to track it. Not far, though. But when we get over here, I'm going to kind of go over the scores and what you need for diamond and also what your fur types for these guys can be. All right, so with this one, let's kind of go over the general information of the Red Fox. So... This is just a female, 9 kg, so kind of medium size for a female. That's why it says 5 medium. But the scores are silver needs 4.6, gold is 10, and diamond is 14. Um, these guys are based off of their weight. Okay, so if you have a 14 kilogram red fox, he's going to score in that 14 range. Anywhere from like 13.8 to 14.2. That's just how that kind of works that's what happens with these weight animals when they don't have true racks that's just how the variation tends to be for fur types you have for commons um red dark red and orange my favorite is the orange especially on the males it really does look good um then you also have piebald albino and melanistic and good luck ever finding one of those especially the melanistic because they're not easy to come across um, and the main reason being for the difficulty of Red Fox is that there's just so few of them on a map, okay? If they had the same numbers as Fallow Deer did, then it wouldn't be an issue because they would just be everywhere. But that's not quite how it works. Because there's only like one to two of them at every lake, it's just not going to be as easy. So... With all of that said, I hope you all find this video helpful. Um, let me know if you have good or bad luck with your red fox. I prefer to hunt Yukon Valley. I know some people f prefer Hirschfeld and they say it has bigger fox. I just prefer to be able to see. That's my thing. So, hope you all enjoyed the video. Hope it was helpful. Hope you have a wonderful rest of your day. And I will see you next time.